Hello once again everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Platinum Game of Chance with me, Mr. Bellinger. Haha. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Last time we fought the gym. We obtained our gym badge. I can't actually access it without using the touch controls. But we beat Byron or whatever his name is, and unfortunately we lost. We lost Mystic and we lost Highland, which was really unfortunate. So, in between episodes, I grinded up both Zaborg and Zinnia. Um, so we can have a full team again. So, I'll quickly go over what they're sitting at. So, Zaborg is level 40, lacks nature, with Bite, Quick Attack, Thundershock, and Spark. And we also have Zinnia, who is rash nature, with Dragon Breath, Bite, Ember, and Zen Headbutt. So, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of sad times, but we're going to keep going um, <clears throat> on our merry way. And I'm sorry if I'm going to sound like a little bit raspy and a little bit hoarse today, but uh, my... I'm, I'm starting to get sick. And it's not nice. So... Too slow! Come on, let's move it! <sighs> Samuel's so impatient. God, just calm down, Samuel. Can't leave the library. Alright, okay, so let's have a wait. Now, I know a little thing about Canley Library. <clears throat> um, that one of the books in here, um, I believe it's one of these. No, it's not. One of the books says that people in Pokemon at a time used to eat from the same table, uh, meaning they were sort of more equals. Um, oh, hey, Barry, over here, this way. So he's going to head over to Professor Round with us. But um, just quickly, we're going to finish this thought. I know that in the Japanese version of Pokemon Platinum, Diamond and Pearl, the book actually says that people in Pokemon married because they were closer to the same species back in that sort of time. Um, so here's my question of the day. Do you think the developers of, not, not just Pokemon games, but other games, um, that are originally developed in Japanese, do you think that their intended meaning for the game gets lost in translation? So do you think um, like significant things in, Pokemon, in, in games get lost in localization in translation? That's my question of the day. I'm going to find a more succinct way to uh, word that in, um, in post-production, but you know, let's, let's continue with the story. <clears throat> okay, Gramps, I brought Barry like I said. All right, I'll be out of here. Okay, I, I get it. Hmm. Everyone's here finally. Barry. Everyone. Listen. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and lose that, and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve to ones that more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokémon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that these legendary Pokémon are, are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the three lakes of Shino, they are said to be Mirage Pokémon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokémon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokémon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokédex! And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you one? Blush water under the bridge. Seeing Pokémon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer, do you? You... Oh. You bad professor! This will add to the Pokédex database and I'll advance your research! Hmm. I would have made... I would have made all of you go regardless. Anyway. Now. There are three lakes. Fortuitously. There are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate these lakes individually. Lucas, you go to Lake Verity. Yes, sir! Samuel, I want you to go investigate Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh, and you're a tough trainer to go. Yeah, of course. Uh, Gramps, you know how to call it. I can, you can tell I'm the hotness. <laughs> and you know what? 
I was gonna catch those legendary Pokemon before you. You know, as thanks for giving us our Pokemon pack on Route 201. Even though I just for for forgot completely until I just now. Yeah. Very well. I'm counting on you. And that leaves Benny with Lake Fowler. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Big old explosion. As, as it stopped, I don't know if you're unharmed. What was that about? No, wait, I mean, TV, the TV, news, anything. I wish there was some different music here to add to the, the drama and suspense of what's happening. <clears throat> what you just witnessed is actual footage from the scene. It was taken by a cameraman who happened to be there. It's certainly impressive. Who knows what the lake, what the explosion could expose at the lake? Krabs, they said it was an explosion. Hmm, what a wild lake fowler. Let's get out, Shag. I'm concerned about the town. You kids, be careful going down the stairs. I'm not old. I don't need to be careful. Barry, you should leave now too. There may be aftershocks, however. Be careful. I hope that's what it said. It looks like what it said. <clears throat> Ah, my throat! Ah, it's so sore. Hmm. That tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kids. Did you hear? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it was just a lot of noise. Gramps! I'm going. I have a bad feeling about this. On you we go, Samuel. On you go. That champion, still, can't judge, still. Barry, I don't like the demand, but I need you at Lake Valor. It's not impossible for things to be okay, not after an explosion like that, but I have no idea what is taking place. But before you go, let me stress, don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. <coughs> Lake Valor. Lake Valor, I wonder what happened! Now, did I? I did. Um. Because we lost our flyer and I didn't want to teach fly to Ricardo, I taught it to Matilda because she could learn it. So we're <laughs> we're going to fly over to Vilston City and head south to uh, Lake Valor or Lake Verity. Verity or Valor, one of the two. Not telling you. It's really weird. Do it a bit. <clears throat> you know, when I get a sore throat, I, I drink a lot more water than normal, and because I drink a lot more water than normal, um, I burp a lot more than normal. Um, <clears throat> but on the plus side, I do get this really nice husky, gravelly voice. <laughs> so that'll be that'll be interesting to listen to in playback. So we're at Valor Lakefront, um, and the news reporters there are out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch the Borg into the front of the party <coughs> and we're going to take on Lake Valor because Team Galactic are now here. Yeah, next stop Lake Verity, see, the closest civilization is, is, that, is that hick town called Twinleaf. We can roll there on Shepage, yeah, yeah, I'm going to kill you all. <laughs> Magikarp is weakly flopping about. Do we have to battle? Let's do it. Yeah, we do have to battle. Let's do it. No, I would not like to join the Magikarp floating in the mud because I'm going to take you down. I'm going to take you down and make sure you are dead. Cool, cool thing here. Antoinette sending out Aaron. So we're a good good level, I suppose. Um, I'm going to try that. That fun shock. Hey, yeah, pretty good. Nice. Cedra, we're going to stay in. Uh, Cedra is still... My cupboard's open, and I don't like it when my cupboard is always open. Cool trainer Antoinette was defeated by Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch. <clears throat> He's poor Magikarp. It's so not fair. How can you not have use for Magikarp? They turn into freaking Gyarados, dude. They're so powerful. Like, I don't know if you've faced a Gyarados, especially in Gen 1, but, you know, they were, they were terrifying. Like, especially when they just, like, swept with Hyper Beam. Because back in Generation 1, if you KO'd a Pokemon with Hyper Beam, 
you didn't need to recharge the next turn. Look at all these water types just like being presented to Zaborg as tribute. Using roll out answer. Sorry. Should use quick there. <clears throat> Ace trainer marshal, cool trainer marshal, whatever his name is. Marshal. I think we might have a game of chance coming up. I've just got a hunch that we've got a game of chance coming up. <clears throat> Gulpin. Send out Zaborg. With a thunder shock. Oh, you've encored me into my strongest move. Of course. We are going to switch into Matilda. Who has a fly? I, I love how Matilda has fly. It is so good. <clears throat> Sandstorm rages. We're buffeted. Mine Junior. We can stay in. It was only recently that I realised I deleted... I deleted a dark type move for Night Slash. Oh, I deleted Crunch for Night Slash. And Crunch is actually stronger base power than Night Slash. So I feel a little bit silly for doing that. But, you know, these things happen. Hold on. Um... So I'm going to have a little rant now, um, so basically I got it wrong last episode about the whole sun and moon thing uh, being out on the 18th in Europe, it's not, it's out on the 23rd, so next Wednesday, but annoyingly my YouTube subscription page and my Facebook feed is just sort of filled with sun and moon stuff and it's so annoying, I've already been spoiled for a couple of things which I'm rather sad about and as you guys know I detest spoilers. I absolutely detest them. So um, that was a bit, a bit of crap. But you know, and I, I just, I just don't like the fact that everyone has to constantly broadcast what they're doing in Sun and Moon. Like, don't, don't the Americans know that? Well, not the Americans, but like, uh, I know that like, the YouTubers have to do it because that's their career. But you know, like, other people can't they just have a bit of decorum? and not post spoilers that everyone's got the game. Which is why, you know, Black and White is my favourite generation of games, kind of, because, well, one of my favourites, because of the, the release date. It was an international release date. Everyone got it at the same time, so there's no spoilers. Am I thinking of X and Y? I'm thinking of X and Y. One of the two. Anyway, got to fight this dude. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone, and for the good of Team Galactic. <laughs> I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Oh dear. We're facing Servant Jimmy, or should I say, Commander Saturn. And this is, indeed, a game of chance, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're going to, as always, go over the rules of the game of chance, if you're not familiar with it. So, every single boss battle, that's like, you know, evil team admins, rival, gym leaders, Elite Four, we have to, instead of choosing our moves normally, we pull from a deck of cards. And I know last episode that you can actually see the suits of cards, because the sun was in the way, but uh, I'm sorry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign each move slot a suit of cards. So Spike will be Spade, Quick Attack will be Diamonds, Thundershock will be Hearts, and Spark will be Clubs. And that will go for every single Pokemon. And if I want to switch, I drop all my dice on the floor. And if I want to switch, I use a D6. And whatever Pokemon I get, whatever Pokemon corresponds to the, the, the number I will, will be sent out. And if I want to use an item, because I don't have a coin, because I'm really poor right now, um, I will roll the D6 again. If I get an even number, I can use an item. If I get an odd number, I cannot use an item. But we are going to fight, and our first card is going to be a clubs, like that. Three of clubs. And we're going to use Spark on this Venomoth. And I can't remember if this is going to be effective or not. It's not. Uses sleep. Pick up a D4, because I don't want it to get lost. Um, I'll see if we can use an item, actually. That's a 1. We can't use an item, so we're just going to fight again, see if we wake up. That's diamonds, so that's a quick attack. We're still asleep, unfortunately. 
using signal beam. How much will that do? Not much. I'm gonna fight again. That's hearts, the jack of hearts, thundershock. Zelborg woke up, uses thundershock, which is nice. Happy. <coughs> signal beam again. I'm pretty sure this Venomoth is going to go for a, um, a sleep powder next turn. So we're going to go for hearts again, which is thundershock. <clears throat> no, use the signal beam again. We're going to have to just die. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to die. That's a three we cannot heal. So I'm going to switch. That is a five. That's you, eight. You is about to come into a signal beam. Bug types. That was a crit. That did 90 damage. Let's see if I can heal. That's a 5. We cannot heal. I'm gonna fight here. Because my gut is telling me to. That's clubs. I have to fight now. There we go. Okay. My gut was telling me to fight. So I trust my gut. Speaking of, my gut might make really weird noises because I'm ill. And so I apologize for that. B net is about to come in. We're definitely switching. That's six. Matilda comes in. Hey, Mr. Dice. You're actually, you know. We're redeeming yourself, that's worse. Good dice. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Dice. So that's level 40. That is a diamond, meaning that's fly, so. Matilda's about to use fly. <laughs> Trying to use Will of Wisp on me. It ain't gonna work, son. It ain't gonna work on me, son. Another diamonds. Using Shadow Ball. It's gonna be not very effective against me because I'm a dark type. Is that better? So this could take it out if we get a high roll. Just hangs in there. But thankfully he's out of healing rage now. So that's the king of spades. That's surf. This is going to be stab. And we won't get affected by the burn. The attack drop from the burn. Meaning we can take out this bayonet. And we're going to have to switch out... Uh, with the next Pokemon because we do not want Matilda to get hurt more than she needs to be. Cubone, that would be a really good stay in though. Still gonna switch though. It's just practical. That is a two, meaning Ricardo. Okay. Ricardo hits the field for the first time this episode. And what do we use? The Joker! <laughs> We get the Joker. Now, if we pull the Joker from the deck of cards, that means we can choose what move we want. So I, just for the hell of it, I'm going to choose God Judgment because that is going to be Grass type move. Because we taught Ricardo Judgment because this is a randomizer and everything's randomized. Because why not? A charge up a Judgment. It's freaking amazing. So we have beaten Jimmy. Very underwhelming, Commander Jimmy. Duh. Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. Oh, but that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. She's gone. He's gone. They've gone. Anyway, they're gone, gone. So we should probably fly home. We, we should probably fly straight over to Lake Verity, which is down here. I'm sorry. That was very rude of me. He said, slurring his words a little bit. <laughs> oh, I need heal, I need heal. Mother, mother, heal me. You, mother. 
heal me. Make me strong again. Oh my god. So let's go, let's go up to Lake Verite. Note one. Verde Lake Front. Ah, Barry, what timing. Those Team Galactic scandals are after the legendary Pokemon. Barry, help us. You've got to help Lucas. Oh, I will. There's gonna be a double battle. A double battle starring myself and myself. Joe and Malcolm. Worst type matchup for you guys ever. Like the only thing that could like take down this double duo of the Borg and Ricardo would be, you know, like a right furrier. Tauros. Oh, that's an intimidate on us. Oh, it's not gonna that's not gonna do. That's not gonna do. We're just gonna take a stab. That's a stab playing for on a Tauros. You're going down. I'm mean, not Ricardo's just so overpowered! I love it! I hope nothing happens to him. I will I will genuinely cry on camera if Ricardo does die. But Mars is here, we're probably gonna have to fight Mars now. I think we've got enough time. Caravana. And Philip. Thundershot Caravana, and I'm going to... Oh, that was an Aqua Jet. Ooh. That hurt. That actually really hurt. I do not like that. I do not like Ricardo getting hurt. Bunny Reef! Oh, it's a Bunny Reef! He's got such weak Pokemon. Come on! I'm, I'm, I don't mean this. Gods of luck. Give me a challenge. I don't mean it. Why did you use agility a second time? God! AI! Figure yourself out. Right, we're gonna have to quickly, quickly heal. And I actually wanna lead with Xenia. Because she hasn't hit the screen yet. It's Team Galactic! They took a Pokemon with the leg in this woman! I lost her, but just barely the. Get yourself checked out, Lucas. That face! It brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the windworks. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Fine! Whatever, I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. So, what is it? Are you some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance. Not even a teeny one. You're all going down! And so we'll shuffle the cards again for the second game of chance this episode. Servant Alex, you're going down. Done. That's a camera up. That's mildly terrifying. I reckon Zania can handle it. She's quite tacky. So we are going to start with a clubs. A jack of clubs. Zen uh, headbutt. If we get the flinch, that'll be pretty cool. Amnesia. Not what I wanted. Hearts, that's an ember, it's probably gonna flash for you. Does it have fire for you? Burn? No? Oh, no. Alright. Gonna sneeze. We're gonna fight one more time. Diamonds! That's a bite! Can we get the flinch? Can we get the flinch? Please. Oh, that's a lot of damage on Zinnia! Oh my god, can we heal? Six, we can heal! Oh god, we're healing. I have a full restore. Um, it would be cheaper to actually use the milk. That's a lot of damage from this camera up. From this camera up. Stop. Stop that. Right now. 
I don't think we can sustain this. I'm going to have to switch. I'm going to have to switch. And two, two, six. Matilda. Hey, Matilda's hitting the field. Matilda's hitting the field again. That's what I like to see. Don't burn me. Oh, come on! Right, we need to heal. Six, we can heal. I'm just rolling sixes. Rolling sixes. Rolling, rolling sixes. She's gonna heal as well. Oh! Darling, I'm sorry. You did. Alright, this will be a free switch in. So, Curly is about to come in, even though that's probably the best idea to stay in, we're going to switch and go into three, which is Leafa! Hey! I see what I've gone into anyway. Either that or it's a board. Okay. Leafa hits the field for the first time today. I'm against this Curly. Six diamonds, that's a water pulse. Doesn't do much, so can mind setting up specially defensively again. Mars is loving our special defense. So I'm gonna fight again. I'm gonna go for spades, which is faint attack, which will take this out out this Carlia, because it has no defense at all. Its defense is like, you know, about as strong as, as a wet paper towel. X Cloud. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in on this X Cloud. Gonna fight. Hearts. Nasty plot. We're gonna set up. We're gonna set up our nasty plot. I'm standing on some paper. And it's digging at my foot. There it is. Two diamonds. That's a water pulse. That is a plus two water pulse from a shift ring. This should do a hefty amount of damage. I hope they get the power of the um, confusion. The next one. Doesn't. Doesn't make such a Clubs. Raise a leaf. That's a supersonic. And this is where it goes downhill. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where it goes downhill. Oh, Leafa! Well done! Well done! fight again. It's the Joker. Faint attack. Use a stomp. Oh no. Oh no. We've been screeched. We've been screeched. No. Thank God. Breakthrough. Breaking through. We're soaring. We're flying. That's a second crit in a row. There ain't a star in heaven that we can't reach. I'm the worst person. Joker. I can't believe we got the Joker twice in one day. <sighs> I lost again. So first the wind works and now Lake Verity that I yell you for. This should be happening to a Team Galactic's commander. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the Lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right. I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting for us at the HQ. The Pokemon of the Three Lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at the Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mesprit slept. Mesprit appeared, too, probably to go help his friends. That worked out well for us. It was super e easy to catch. So now we've got them all. Mesprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Uxi, the being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. I see. The shawl shot occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against fully fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about Shamio? What is happening at Lake Acuity? Is Shamio safe? We're going to find that out in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of the Game of Chance and Nuzlocke with me and Mr. Banger. If you've liked it, please make sure to hit the like button down below, answer the common question of the day, and if you are not part of the Banjo flock, please hit the subscribe button and join the clan. I've been Mr. Banjo, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.